Good evening, everyone. This is Linda. I've done a lot of work today, but uh, yeah, I did a lot, but it was good. It was good. It was nice and chilly when I first started out this morning. A little chill, nothing unbearable, but you know, it was nice. Listen, guys, I hope you are having a wonderful day. I've been having a great day. But yeah, it's time for me to go in. It's time for me to go in. But I'm just going to share my day with you all. The things I did and, yeah, what just wore me out here today. And I'm not done. Not done. But that's okay. We're going to do one thing at a time. Yeah. But first, if you are not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I will be sharing my Zone 9 Garden. Yes. <laughs> So I've taken a lot of my plants that I have over here. I have, uh, I had to take a lot of these plants. This is my, uh, uh, bay leaf. And she is really flourishing, as you can see. But I'm going to have to put her in a bigger pot. Yeah, I've taken all of my plants, kind of lined them up over here. Because I need to do something with this. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, I got to do something with that. It's crazy over there. And, um. So, I have my gardener. We're going to come back here and I'm going to watch him. Because the last time, he cut some limbs off my blueberries. And he thought the way to fix it was to go to the store and buy me more blueberries. <laughs> Poor thing. And he did, but that don't fix it. Mm-mm. <laughs> but uh, we're going to get that together. Let me share with you all my corn. At least uh, this is the purple corn. So this is my purple corn, and you look at some of them, it's about to get their tassels. It's still not very tall, but yeah, a couple of them is doing that, so, so here's another one doing it. There's another one over there. So yeah, that's what they're doing. <laughs> that's what they're doing. What I love about it is that I love this. They have this purple streak on their on their leaf. You see that? Really cool looking. <laughs> they were saying to you, "Hey, I'm purple. I'm purple." Yes, you are. <laughs> Her leaves was limbs was just chopped off. But anyway. Lots of zinnias coming, yeah. And that is a Mexican sunflower right there. So she gonna try to take over everything. Yeah, she really will. And this is probably, it's, I don't think it's a gladiola. One of those both flowers, but it's not a gladiola. <laughs> and morning glories back there. And they're going up that pole. Yep. And they're in the bed with the peach tree. And I see we have a, a ladybug. Well, do you think? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Peach. Peach. <laughs> it's gonna be real, real cool, real cool. So here is my ground cherries. There's a lot of them under there. 
I put some of that snail bait down there, but because they've been eating the leaves on this thing. But so many fruits. Look at that. You see that? Snail. But it has lots of fruits. Lots of fruits on it. Yeah. Yep. You see that, um, those plants with the red bottoms coming up? All of those are Malabar spinach. That's what that is. They're right here by one of my, um, Creole tomatoes. But, they're doing all right. So this is one of my garlics that, you know, I just drop them all over the place. And she's growing that skate. Yeah. Uh, she hit, it's what, four? Yeah, four, four um, garlic plants in here. And it looks like she's the only one. Yeah. But I just drop them at different times. No, no rhyme or reason. Just drop the thing, you know. Yeah. So this is one of my tomatoes. She's really nice size. You see who she is. Oh, she is a red delish. That's who she is. She looks real cute. And this is going to be a part of my lunch today. Yeah, and I have some tomato plants in here too. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to harvest a lot of this here for lunch today. That's lunch. So this is one of my rhubarb that I planted in one of the big buckets. Yeah. Mm. And here are the rhubarb and two artichokes in the big barrel, but yeah, you know, all three can't stay. I always said that I wanted the, uh, the, um, artichoke to stay in the barrel, but, uh, I'm thinking I may take the, the artichoke out and just leave her here and uh, take those two out. Yeah. When I trans uh, planted the other one, it took her days. It took the rhubarb days to recover. And I replanted her in the late evening. It was overcast, but it took her days and days to recover. She lost about two of her big leaves. Uh, she's totally recovered now, but it just took her a long time. So, I don't think I want to take this one through that. I'm going to just leave her here and move the two artichokes. So, here's one of them, and there's the other artichoke. So, let me share another spot. <laughs> but would you believe? <laughs> That's more bar. Yeah. And I have another plant. <laughs> I don't know. See, this is what happens sometimes when plants don't germinate and it, they take a long, a long time to germinate. And you think, you know, the seed is dead or, the, you know, so you drop another seed. That's me. <laughs> but look, a look, -a. who is that? Yeah, it's a rhubarb. So I had two, two varieties of rhubarb. And there's my nice kohlrabi over there, y'all. Gotta love them, gotta love them. And big baby, big baby. Big girl.
All right, y'all. So, Jody is here, but she went inside to get something to drink. But uh, I just mixed her up some soil. Um, her, she is growing some green onions, and I went by her house and she uh, she put the entire pack of seeds into this very small container, and everybody germinated, right? So. I'm just going to mix her up uh, some salt and give her a bigger pot. She chose this one, so hey, I'm going to give her what she won't. <laughs> and um, uh, I'm going to give this to her. So she's going to put her babies in this bigger container. You say hello, Jody. Yeah, these for her onions. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Yeah, these for her green onions she's growing. Yeah. They look good too, Jada. Yeah. Doing good, girl. Jada Jada helping you take care of them. Yeah. I know she's I know she running you. Yeah. <laughs> she wants to tell me everything. <laughs> 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 all right so let's go get all of this in here oh, wow i did good huh this is awesome so i just put some uh perlite put a little peat in here <laughs> yep Put a little peat, some uh, some perlite, some garden lime, and blood and bone. That's what's in here. So it's all ready for Jody to transplant her onions here. All right, guys. Here they are. I've given my um, my fig tree some soil because. Yeah, I can see her roots coming up. So, yeah, I gave her a little help. <laughs> yeah. But um, I put the uh, all of these over here. And I put this down. Also, let's see. Let's see. So I had these out here in the garden. But that's them. And, of course, I brought them from Dollar Tree. <laughs> yeah. And... I just stuck them here in this here just to hold it down. Yeah, not that it need that much, but yeah, I did it. I did it. So that's the way this side looks. Tomorrow um, I will be doing this side. Yeah, I'm gonna put the um, just to kind of keep some of the grass down over here on this side. All right, and I'm gonna share another place. Well, this would be the last place also I will put some of that black tarp down uh, under these babies over here. Over here. All right, guys. Whew. I don't know what's wrong with this nasturtium. Um, why is she? It's kind of um, moist, but I don't know. I Maybe I'll give her a little Epsom salt and no water tomorrow no water for you <laughs> all right guys if i said the other place was the last it's not it will be this will be the last but i'm waiting for my gardener to come and cut this grass over here then i'm gonna lay like um triple <laughs> thick for this uh for this side over here but it, they're going to be all right. When I'm finished, it's going to be all right. Yeah. So this is where a lot of my melons are growing. Yeah. And yeah, I got to do something with this. But I'm going to keep this can of lily. I do love it. I do love it. I just don't want them to go crazy, which they always do. But... The hummingbirds show enough love them. The hummingbirds absolutely love them. And the bees are just having a ball in there, y'all. They just, 
being out. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I hate to come in and kind of take them down and I'm just waiting for a little while longer so they can, uh, you know, get they feel, get they feel on. Yeah, all right guys. The red birds are sitting in the tree. They won't come and eat if all the brown birds are there. Isn't that crazy? Yesterday, I filled that, that feeder up. So do you really think that those birds ate all that food? No, they did not. The squirrel, he did it. <laughs> he got his time where he come out here early in the morning before I come out here. I watched him this morning. Wish I had a stick. <laughs> like I almost threw one of my shoes at him. <laughs> you see that nobody is, there's no birds at the feeder. somebody <laughs> so he's getting there's one bird there so there's uh, seeds close like on the ground by the feeder of course because they just miss his all get up you know so he is on oh there's the female both of them the male and the female red birds that's them back there That's the great thing about red birds, that they are mates for life. And if you see one, oh, you're gonna see the other. Yeah, it's too many birds come, he, he, he gonna leave. Oh, too bad, too bad. I guess they, de oh, they debating. Oh, they are, they're by the olive tree. But they debating if they're gonna stay or leave because there's a lot of seeds over there on the ground. Um, yeah. And the female red bird, she's waiting for, there she is right there. She's waiting for him because he's on the ground eating seeds. I guess she say, you go hit on over there. I'm not going. <laughs> there he is down in it. There he is. Oh, right there. Yeah. Oh, too bad. And now they're together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 